Welcome, Virgo, to Amore Bella Tarot. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I really do um, like to look at all that, and that's the, the feel that keeps me bringing forth some more free entertainment for you, Virgo. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, the phrase of the week, Virgo, is embrace the present. Embrace the present moment. Look around. See all the beauty and all the blessings that are surrounding us here, um, Virgo. All right, spirits of peace and love. What does Virgo need to hear for this second week of May? Okay. A few more shuffles here and we'll get started, Virgo. Spirits of peace and love. What does Virgo need to hear for the first week? Oh my gosh, that was horrible. For the first, a second week of May, Spirits of Peace and Love, what does Virgo need to hear for the second week of May? Spirits of Peace and Love, what does Virgo need to hear for the second week of May? Spirits of Peace and Love. Things are looking better out there in the real world. Virgo, hopefully we can start moving forth that direction. All right, Spirits of Peace and Love. We're going to need to hear for the second week of May. Spirits of peace and love. What are our beautiful Virgos need to hear? What advice do we have from the heavens? Spirits of peace and love. For our beautiful Virgos. Spirits of peace and love. What do we have for our beautiful Virgos? Thank you, spirits. All right. This is for our beautiful Virgos. Second week of May. Spirits of peace and love. Okay, <clears throat> and at the bottom of this deck, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is you're beautiful, you're bountiful, you love yourself, you love your single life, you're self-sufficient, you're just loving it. Loving your life, Virgo, that's right, loving that single life, that's right, all right. It's a peace and love, what does Virgo need to hear for the second week of May? Spirits of peace and love. This we're going to hear for the second week of May. Spirits of peace and love. Thank you. All right. All right, Virgo. Spirits of peace and love. What is what guidance do our Virgos need to hear for the second week of May? Now, no, this is not going to reside with the masses, Virgo. So, if you want something more. Um, um, guidance personal for you. I am doing personal readings, so do look at the link down below. Okay, all right, this is for our beautiful Virgo spirit of peace and love. Father Almighty, thank you so much. Your first card, your first energy card here, Virgo, it's Page of Water, which is the Page of Swords in traditional tarot. <clears throat> that to me represents um, somebody spying, somebody driving by, somebody checking up on your media. Two of Cups though, somebody loves you. Yeah, yeah, true love coming your way. Two of Cups, that's beautiful. All right, here Virgo, one more card for you Virgo. And we have the Hangman, yes. So you've been in a standstill place, you've gone within, and you see things different. You, you analyze things differently now, um, Virgo. You see things in a different perspective now. You have evolved and you have grown. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck here, Virgo, you have the Five of Air, which is the Five of Swords. Walking away from conflict, walking away from conflict here, um, Virgo. All right, let's clarify though. What is this Page of Swords? I'm sorry, this is the Page of Cups. I'm sorry, I apologize. The Page of Cups is somebody's going to come forth and offer you a, a message of love, an offer of love here, Virgo. Okay, let's clarify spirits. We have, yep, you're waiting for that cup of love, it looks like to me here. Okay, next we have the Five of Wands. So you have the Five of Swords and you have the Five of Wands. So there's been some 
some um, competition maybe at work, some competition at work, competition at home, some struggles maybe because we're quarantined for so long. What is this Five of Wands here? Another Five of Swords. But see this Five of Swords, I like this Five of Swords. Um, he has all the Five Swords in his hand, okay? And he is the only one standing, so to me, victory is on the horizon here. Even though there has been quarrels and arguments, and there's some victorious, some victory coming forth here for you, um, Virgo. <clears throat> yeah, somebody's collaborating with you. Somebody's collaborating to make some more money. Some money-making ideas here, Virgo. Working hard for your coins. And then this Two of Cups, yeah, it's coming in really fast, Virgo. That true equal give and take of love is coming. The Two of Cups is coming fast. Okay. And the Chariot. We have the Two of Pentacles here. The Two of Pentacles, uh, jungly, maybe you're juggling um, work, maybe two jobs, or maybe you're juggling, maybe you're juggling um, uh, some two people, <laughs> juggling relationships maybe. Yeah, maybe somebody's juggling relationships here. That's a third party right there. <clears throat> Okay, let's clarify this Three of Cups for our beautiful Virgos. Ah, love, the lovers, yeah. So you know which one's the one you really do want. You know which one's the one that makes your heart flutter. All right, let's clarify this hangman for Virgo. It's a piece of love. We have the Queen of Pentacles, solid individual, very... Uh, Funds are very much in place, very handsome, very beautiful. All right, gender is not relevant in tarot, Virgo, so just a solid, uh, bountiful individual here, okay? Uh, with all the right tools, you manifested this person here. You manifested that, that wonderful possible suitor that is coming your way. All right, let's clarify this magician for Virgo. Nine of Wands. So it seems to me like you're not you're not giving up yet, here, Virgo. You're not giving up. You're gonna you're gonna take on the world with this one wand. You're gonna fight anybody who stands in your way here, um, Virgo. That's beautiful. You're fighting, and you're gonna get your wish fulfillment. You're going to get your wish fulfillment, yeah, yes, because you want it so bad and you're manifesting it here and you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Yep. The world. The heavens are on your behalf. You see things differently. You have the two cup of love right here. Um, I think you're going to get rid of that third party or you're going to walk away from a third party situation there's a chapter that's ending here for you virgo okay so it could be that there hopefully it's that third party because when there's three people involved in a situation one is going to get hurt more than the others okay and that all doesn't always turn out okay yeah there's there's a few offers on the table for you here um virgo this is the queen of cups this queen is very um Loving, very uh, nurturing, very um, abundant, very beautiful. So you have a few offers coming forth here for you, um, Virgo. Okay, let's put one more here. Oh my gosh, maybe there's three. There's three queens. Oh my gosh, there's three queens in the same placement. Three queens. How is that even possible from the same deck? This is not multiple decks. This is from the same deck. Three queens in the same placement of the reed. So it looks to me like you have a lot of wonderful offers coming forth here, Virgo. You just got to make the right one. Got to know which Oh Yeah, and you will. You will. You will pick the correct one with the Ace of Swords. Yep. Beautiful spread, Virgo. <clears throat> yes, and at the bottom of the deck you have the Seven of Cups, which is multiple offers, as you can see on your 
spread. You have multiple wonderful, very um, quality offers. Okay, there's three queens and one placement of your spread here. Um, Virgo. Okay, here on the page of water, which is the page of cups, some true, new true love coming in. Yep, look at this. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. It's coming in. It's coming in, Virgo. That's beautiful. But you have a lot of offers, so you have to pick one. But you'll know which one it is. Okay, and this uh, two, two of cups, you have hang healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so you have to forgive in order to move ahead to a better place here um virgo and on your last one here where the hangman is where you see things in a different perspective yeah worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life yeah, true love is coming forth for you um, here, Virgo. You just got to know which one it is, the one that you want, the one that makes your heart and your mind and your soul flutter. Yes, that's beautiful, Virgo. Okay, and this is going to conclude our beautiful reading here. Um, Virgo, this is a message from the heavens. And the message from the heavens to you here today, Virgo, is... I am a spirit having a human experience and I am here to get closer to love and you will. You've got a lot of beautiful love offers here, Virgo, so beautiful. Um, again, thank you for letting me enter into your space, Virgo. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. That's what keeps me coming forth to you on this free entertainment and the phrase of the week is Let's embrace the present, okay? Let's embrace the present. Let's not worry about the past because we can't fix it. And let's move forward. Blessings.